We got a little bit of a haul for this season. Took a few things. These are sunglasses. They're polarized. My new Walter Spotters. Walter Spotters. <laughs> Anyways, I got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go pick up something from the mailbox right now. <laughs> I wonder what's in there. It's definitely not as cool as these sunglasses, am I right? There's no way it can be. I look, I'm the coolest right now. But we got a trunk of stuff to show you. Don't fall. Whew. Some kind of weird mount thing. I think this is for my GoPros or something along those lines. Ugh. I don't even know how to start this. Got some pliers, some files, some jaw spreaders, just, you know, stuff. And I have this tackle box. We'll go through the tackle boxes first. I think that's how I'm gonna go through this tackle boxes first. I got that one, this one. Big old receipt, because I spend way too much money. I'm never gonna financially recover from this. Some big spoons, some big spoons. Big diving bait, goes about 20 feet. I should write 20 feet on there so I know. It looks like a walleye tied a feather treble on there because it's the kind of guy I am, big feather treble kind of guy. I got myself a scale to 50 kilograms. Uh. 110 pounds, jerked. I feel so claustrophobic right now. It's okay, man, it's okay, everything's good. That's a bag of receipts that I need to keep. Snap swivels, wow, super exciting, but vital. And then I have this one, I gotta say, I took some of my old tackle. This is my old tackle in here, and I just threw it in here just to organize myself a little bit better, to know what I had and so But what is new in this tackle box are hoochies. More hoochie, more hoochie, more hoochies, more hoochie. What are these actually called? Delta squids. They're good for something. I got some spoons in here, big and small, some tubes, a couple of them, some, uh, I forget what those are called. I kind of like to call them a derogatory term, but yeah. Spare hooks, well organized. More hoochies. That tack box. Oh, I almost forgot about that. <laughs> You're not allowed to see that. I got my pike tackle box. Swim baits, swim baits, some Amazon special baits, another big bait, big old pike baits, big flies that I tied. I'm also bringing some smaller stuff. It's better to have than not to have. Canadian wigglers, zombie fish, lucky bugs, some more trebles. Super organized. Couple liters, you can never have too many. Seem to have to buy more every year. Let's get rid of this bin. I'm so uncomfortable right now. Do we want to see this bag? Full of fish and lore. Show you this first. In reach, because I'll be in a remote place. $20, you get to send 10 text messages. It's a good last resort, just in case. Stranded. This can save your life. This is an important tool. At least it is for me. The extra sense of security. Use this while ice fishing. When I'm ice camping. These things go south. Next, fun stuff. I gotta throw this all in the stack box. I don't even know how this is all gonna fit. Boom. Some big top water pike baits. Big whopper plopper guy. Now it's just go over some spoons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all the spoons. Got these things. Some flat fish, T60s, some beautiful things. Looking grand, looking schwanky. Few more, a few more flat fish. More super crucial swivels. Some octopus hooks to do a little bit of experimenting with those big spoons. More swivels. Some Amazon jaw spreaders, because I like to throw these overboard. And some 50 pound leader. Flare carbon. 50 pounds. I wonder what I'm fishing for. It's going to be crazy. Back to the ram mount. It's for GoPros. One goes here, one goes here. You get all the angles. That's how you do it. This was actually really hard to find, but I found a stellar deal. Oh my goodness gracious. Time to open up the box, the package, the one and only. You can't see the mailing address there. What is it? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so happy with this. I got the Helix 9. Mega side imaging, mega down imaging. Trout ponds aren't safe. Kind of worried about the box and the sound that this box is making. Why I'm doing this in my truck, I don't know. Well, that's just the transducer plate making all that rattling. Transducer, what is this? Mounting hardware. I'm glad I didn't go buy a screen protector comes with one. I'm gonna just mount this like right where my phone is. So when I'm driving, I can just make maps and radars and do all the cool stuff. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. I'm so happy. I got the Gen 3. I don't need the Wi-Fi control thing because I don't have other units to link up. I might one day 
But for now, I don't need that kind of stuff. Be realistic. Maybe this is even a little bit much for what I do. Well, kind of not, kind of not really. I'm going to Lake Athabasca and I'm going to be a fish guide up there. It's my dream job. I've always wanted to do it. I've, I've been obsessed with fish since I was like two years old. In December 2000, I was drawing fish apparently. I look a lot different. Those are some cool pants and uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. That was, that was pretty cool. I wanted to be a marine biologist for that, but uh, you know, I never really had the grades for that. I was good at catching them. I caught my first fish when I was four. It was a yellow perch. So happy. I gotta figure this all out. We'll be using this before I go out guiding. We'll be filming some videos before I go guiding. But when I'm out there, I don't think I'll be filming all that much. Be a guide. I, 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 I don't want to be a YouTuber when I'm guiding. I want to be a guide. I want to do my job and I want to do it correct. I want to make sure my clients have the best experience. I don't want to be like, hey guys, what's up? Today we're fishing with Joe and John and we're catching lake trout. No, I'm not going to do that. I like to help those guys catch a fish of a lifetime. That's what I'm going to be doing. It's crazy. I'm still going to be fishing. I'm still going to try and upload videos in the spring before I go. There's always winter. And with this unit, you know what comes with this unit? What I can upgrade to? Mega Live. It's a big deal. Big deal. My truck is an absolute disaster. It's my $5,000 haul. Most expensive little bit. I am going to use this on trout ponds. I don't think I'll use it to like the degree that it needs to be used on a trout pond, but I'm going to try and figure it out. Figure it out before I go out, you know? You, you, I'll, I'll figure it out as I go, but I got to figure out how to... Like my preferences and how I like to run it. How to mark fish. How to see what's going on. My gosh dang. Helix 9! I almost bought Panoptics, but I think this is way more worth it. I'm a hummingbird guy to heart. I never knew I could be this cool. I'm gonna go edit this, upload it, and organize my tackle boxes. See you guys on the North Saskatchewan next time. Fingers crossed on that. I gotta find time to do that. Anyways guys, I greatly appreciate you. I'll see you on the North Saskatchewan. You will. I wanna, I wanna try something a little bit different this spring. Something that I've been itching to try a lot, but I always seem to get stuck in that. Fishing the bottom rig fishing, but I'm gonna try and change that. But come sturgeon season, there's gonna be sturgeon caught. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Just kidding. Got some guide work, some bibs. A jacket. Uh, this for my uh, fish finder mount, mounted on the boat because I'm not allowed to mount anything on the boats while I'm up there. What else is in here? Pyramid weights for the river. Speaking of, that's the next video. I got this just for cutting trees down, just in case. I have shore lunches, so I'm gonna fire on shore. I think this is the actual real end. I'll see you on the river and I'll see you tiger trout fishing. Thank <laughs> you.